the suspension trauma is supposed to be uh, also dangerous and can lead to death within a few minutes. Uh, it has been supposed in the 1970s that this is due to a uh, pooling of the venous blood in the lower legs only and therefore they said that time that uh, if you rescue a person hanging in a rope motionless uh, you should not put him in a supine position immediately but let him in a sitting position for a uh, half an hour more or less our question was is this still true is the pathophysiology uh, different from a pooling are there other factors because we uh, suspected that it uh, can also be a neural factor uh, that leads to an immediate loss of consciousness and therefore uh, we choose uh, uh, volunteers who were able to hang in a rope freely motionless for up to one hour and we have seen that in 30 percent they had they collapsed in a time between 15 and 45 minutes and uh, we observed the pooling of uh, venous blood in the lower legs but this was immediately uh, in the first five minutes uh, when they started hanging and then it did not go farther on it did not uh, increase during the hanging period but all of them collapsed immediately suddenly without any clinical signs before so this was this is really somewhat very worrisome that means that uh, rescue teams if they have a hanging person motionless in a rope they should not take it easy even if they are fully responsive they do not know when the person will collapse and there are no signs uh, that uh, precede the, the collapse. And between the collapse and the cardiac arrest, there might be only a few minutes. So the sitting position, we can forget. Uh, a person with a suspension trauma has to be uh, laid in a supine position and treated like another patient.